Okay, fourth grade, here I am with your questions. Uh, the camera was not letting me flip it around while I was recording, so I decided to just insert two videos, one with the reading and one with the questions and the vocabulary. So at the top, you obviously see the title and the date for today. Question number one. On page 12, which is what I held the camera still for for a little while while I read, um, on page 12, Lee is upset. Why? Explain your answer. So try to tell why he is upset and then explain why using that evidence from the story somebody might be upset. Two, on page 12, Lee said, if my dad was here, he would tell you to go climb a tree. What does Lee mean when he says this? Three, what character trait do you believe best describes Lee so far? Cite evidence to support the character trait. Explain how the evidence supports the trait. So if you are in 4-3 um, and 4-4, four, four, you know that I've said all year long that students normally are able to give evidence and describe or give a trait, but they struggle to explain how that evidence proves the trait. So now's your chance to practice without a lot of pressure. All right, so here is some vocabulary that should help you. If you are in my homeroom, you have seen these cards before. You see explicit detail is a detail that is right there in the text. That citing evidence means to underline, copy, or highlight details from a text to support our answers. In this case, you'll just need to copy it down because um, you can see the text, but you don't have it in front of you to copy from or to, excuse me, underline or highlight. An implicit detail is a detail that gives us clues to put together with our background knowledge to make a logical conclusion. Um, please remember, this will help you when you are making inferences. So in the case where you are coming up with a character trait to describe Lee, this would be a helpful um, hint to remember because authors don't just come out and give that character trait, they give us details that imply the character trait. And then last, I'll show you the top. Question number two that um, is talking about Lee's father telling him that he should go climb a tree if he was there is an idiom. So remember that idioms are figurative language. They have literal meaning and figurative meaning. A literal meaning is when each word in a sentence stays true to its actual meaning. A figurative meaning is when a combination of words means something different than the individual words do. So let's look at an example. It's raining cats and dogs. So the literal meaning is that it is really raining cats and dogs. So that's what it would look like. The figurative meaning is that it's raining a lot. So I hope that these vocabulary words and definitions help you. Um, please remember that Mrs. Myers and I are both here to help you with any of these questions and the work and that you can submit them to us in the comments. You can send us an email. You can message me on class tag or her on remind. And we will meet tomorrow, Thursday, April 2nd to discuss these answers. So take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon.